Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to introduce you to a new application, or well, relatively new application we now have within Microsoft 365, and that's uh, something called Microsoft Loop. Uh, what is a Loop application? Uh, look, uh, obviously, um, I'm a SharePoint guy, and you know, I primarily focus on SharePoint, but you know, SharePoint is uh, a great application if you want to uh, organize information kind of in a strict, you know, fashion. And uh, uh, that's sort of an official, you know, uh, information, documentation, and so on for the uh, company, for the organization. But sometimes, sometimes you, you just want to kind of have an informal way to collaborate with your, uh, you know, maybe colleagues, or maybe you want to capture some ideas, uh, maybe uh, for a new project and so on. Uh, in this case, I mean, obviously there are all these different apps available like Word and, you know, PowerPoint that you can probably, you know, utilize. Um, but, you know, SharePoint, you know, pages, for example, would not be, you know, one of those. Why? Because, um, you know, it's meant for more kind of formal stuff, right? That uh, takes a while, you know, to design pages and, uh, you know, add widgets, build, you know, sites and make them pretty and so on. Once again, sometimes we want this uh, informal kind of way to, you know, maybe collaborate or capture our thoughts. So that's ex essentially what the loop uh, is for. Uh, just like SharePoint, uh, all right, uh, loop is part of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. So, you know what, let me navigate to the loop application right here. And, um, you know, the way Loop works, it consists of uh, essentially workspaces. Let me, you know, just click on this one, for example. I already have a few workspaces. So workspace would be almost like uh, a site in SharePoint, right? It would be an area bound by some sort of, you know, security. Uh, it's a container bound by, you know, certain security. And, um, you know, essentially within the workspace, um, you know, you create, you know, pages. Pages is, you know, the analogy would be like SharePoint pages, right? You know how on a SharePoint site you can have, uh, you know, multiple pages, all right? If you have lots of content, same idea in here as well. So, you know what, let me do this. I'm going to create a brand new workspace. As you can see already, um, you know, Loop, unlike SharePoint, uh, um, you know, has this informal kind of, you know, look and feel, right? It's not as strict. It's not as um, you know, I guess, uh, rigid as, uh, you know, SharePoint, but again, it's, uh, because these are two different applications for two different objectives and you know, purposes and use cases. So let me create a new workspace. Again, a workspace is, um, you know, essentially, uh, something, uh, uh, you know, uh, you would uh, create, uh, to capture all these different loop pages. And uh, yeah, let's uh, say we are creating a, a retirement, organizing a retirement party for Linda. We're going to click create. Now, uh, when you have a workspace, uh, it uh, only contains one loop page. All right. And uh, essentially, you obviously can have as many as you want. And let's just say uh, this is where we are going to, uh, you know, capture the schedule for, uh, you know, the retirement party. And a um, couple of things. Obviously, I can now just type in, um, you know, whatever I want, you know, my uh, information about, uh, uh, you know, about the schedule for the retirement party. But before we do that, um, let me show you how easy it is to add content and make those pages pretty. All right, um, so uh, we, first of all, I can add cover, you know, whatever we, you know, uh, want it to be, just like that. And we can also add uh, like an emoji, all right, just like that, all right. So uh, pretty, pretty easy, you know, to do. But in terms of content, in terms of content, so uh, first of all, you can, you know, type in the text and, you know, this uh, works pretty, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. And um, if you notice, uh, right, SharePoint, remember how in SharePoint we have, you know, all these different layouts and three columns and sections and, you know, we have none of that. This is more kind of informal, you know, compared to, um, 
uh, you know, compared to uh, SharePoint. But again, that's because uh, that's how it, it, it's intended to be. Um, now, the way loop works, it uh, also consists of components. And what I will probably do, I'm kind of doing a, an overview for you right now, but I will probably do a, a more, you know, detailed video on this, com you know, essentially on the structure of loop and difference between components and, you know, pages and workspaces. But just to show you the capabilities, um, essentially, if you have, uh, you know, different types of content, sometimes maybe, you know what, I want to insert maybe a table of some sort, or you know what, uh, let's do uh, this. We are going to add, maybe, you know what, we need to add, uh, I think uh, we have it right here, voting table, all right? So maybe we need people to vote on certain, uh, you know, decisions we need to make uh, regarding this retirement party, right? And I can see here and people can, you know, eventually come into this page and vote. Uh, let me show you something else. Um, again, there is plenty, plenty of, um, you know, different uh, widgets in SharePoint. We call them web parts. So by the way, this um, things I'm adding right here, they're called a loop components, but the analogy in SharePoint would be web parts, right? Just like in SharePoint, we can add quick links and, you know, calendar and, um, you know, and uh, here a web part and so on. Same thing here, all right? Obviously we have a bit different, uh, you know, mix of all these different widgets in here. Uh, if you need to manage tasks, there is a web, well, you see, I'm saying web part, I'm a SharePoint guy. Uh, there is a component for that, all right? In here in SharePoint, we have web parts. In Loop, we have components. But look, this is how easy it is to add stuff in here, all right? So, and as you add stuff, you can also just kind of, you know, move around, uh, you know, to different areas, um, just like that, you see? And uh, yeah, I mean, pretty, uh, you know, pretty, uh, you know, straightforward, pretty straightforward. And uh, you can easily, you can easily uh, change the, you know, essentially the position of your uh, different components in here. Um, and it's definitely less, uh, less rigid than, um, uh, you know, than SharePoint pages. Uh, but again, that's on purpose. Uh, now, this was just a quick uh, overview video. I'm pretty sure I'm not, you know, the first guy introducing to this, um, you know, to loop. I mean, it's been around for, you know, some time already. Um, but, um, you know, definitely, if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Now, uh, you know, in my opinion, loop has lots of, you know, potential. Obviously, we have SharePoint for internets, for, you know, knowledge bases and document collaboration. Loop is great for kind of this informal, you know, thoughts and ideas and, um, and so on. Uh, and, um, um, you know, for example, one of the benefits of, um, you know, loop is that, uh, you know, as you capture meeting notes, right, in your, you know, Teams meetings, they actually kept in uh, loop. And this is something I will cover in one of the later videos. Uh, or uh, another use case, if you, um, uh, you, you know, if you are using Copilot, all right, the output, right, if you want to um, further work with the content generated uh, by Copilot, right, you will be utilizing something called Copilot Pages, and they use um, a loop pages as the foundation for that. So, um, uh, there, in my opinion, there is lots and lots of, you know, potential for loop application. And again, I will expect to record um, a few different videos uh, on loop so you can get familiar with the possibilities and capabilities of this wonderful new application we now have. Uh, but that's all I wanted to uh, mention in this particular, you know, video. Hopefully you learned uh, something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.